Hi guys! So I have today a haul, mainly Mac, and I just threw in a couple of things, a couple of things that I purchased um, at the same time. So it's kind of like a collective haul. Um, and I guess I just wanted to kind of start with this, and then I'm gonna get into um, my favorites. I'm gonna do a video of my favorites. So I might be wearing the same thing, but you will see some of the stuff in this haul in the favorites. But I wanted to haul it before I put in the favorites. Okay, so I'm just gonna randomly pick them all up, okay? I'm gonna start with the non-MAC items. So the first thing I picked up is this, um, it's a 10 um, leave-in conditioner. And oh my god, when I tell you that this, oh my god, it smells so yummy it's if you know how the blue Ralph Lauren perfume smells like it smells exactly like that it smells so good I love this stuff it smells good it feels good in my hair it makes it feels pretty soft like I have dry ends because I um, I dye my hair to maintain the red and also um, I bleached it so I have dry ends um, and that makes my hair feel so soft and it gives me life it really does so um i purchased that i, I think i purchased it for like almost 30 dollars. i think it was like 28 dollars or something like that and this is the uh, 10 ounce bottle okay the next thing i picked up is the neutrogena pore refining moisturizer now one of the things that, that I use is the pore refining toner. So I thought I'd give it a try and use the um, moisturizer. And it looks like this. And I wanted to give it a try because I do like the toner. And I do have large pores. Uh oh. <laughs> it's sealed and I tried to smell it. That was a fail in itself. But anyways. So... That's that. I, I want to say this was like around six, seven dollars. I could be wrong. Um, I don't really remember. <laughs> okay. And then the next thing that I picked up is the Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. And this is one of my favorite sponges. I've tried the Beauty Blenders, you know, and for its price, I mean, I feel like this and also my Soho New York. Um, sponge I feel like that's very comparable and I also have the MAC sponge and I feel like if I'm gonna keep on purchasing a beauty blender that's like really up there in price it should you know do something that other things can't and I feel like this is very very comparable comparable to the beauty blender so I love this um, oh and this is just a, a backup I have a one more of these I think um, the next thing that I picked up that's not MAC is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. And this is the highlighter um, in the Hollywood Boulevard. And if you can see this, you can see the gold and pink and um, like bronzy um, colors. And it's, it's so pretty it's such a pretty highlight look at that like yes yes mm -hmm. and you can also apply this on your lids you know I mean I'm not one to ever just use a product for its if it, for its purpose I can on my own self I would use um, use it for anything that I see fit I believe that's uh Oh no, I had one more brush. It's over there. Let me go get it. Okay, so I had to go and get this. Um, it's the Equal Tools um, Foam Applicator. And it's kind of like a blending a blending sponge, beauty blender sponge. Um, it's just on a handle. And it has a side that's dome shape. And then as you can see, it's like straight on one side. And... You can use this both wet and dry. Um, 
your maintenance for this is just the same that you would do with a beauty blender. And then on to the MAC items, which is probably what a lot of you guys have been waiting for. So I'm just going to separate these things. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pencils. And I have um, two lip liners and one brow pencil. And this one is the color Strip Down. I hope this thing can focus. Well, it's probably not going to focus so well. Um, but, yeah, it's not going to focus. And I'm using my S6, so it's not going to get the best focus. But this is it. Uh, strip down lip liner. And let's just go ahead and swatch this here. This is a swatch of it. Um, and I'm... I've been into the whole nude brown lip lately and so I picked that up and I also picked up Spice lip pencil <clears throat> and I'll swatch this one and that's this one here it's a little bit of a um, a brownish orange brown color reddish brown color I'm sorry and the last pencil that I picked up is the infamous spiked brow pencil and I like to use this um, mainly to just get the shape and then I'll fill it in with a um, a shadow but I'm going to try something else this time I'm gonna try doing just the front shadow and then pencil the edge um, I want to see how that works out for me and this is just like a dark brown and my, and this is the swatch here now my hair is red like a dark red color and when I touch it up it becomes pretty vibrant like you can't really see, well you can kind of see it in the light it, my lighting is really bad here right now but um I like to do brown brows because I'm and then I just um, add a touch of like red eyeshadow and it fits my hair, it matches my hair perfectly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealer. Now I already have this and I'm sure everybody that knows what this is, it's the 24 hour prolong, or 24 hour, I'm sorry, the prolong wear concealer. And this is an NC30. Now anyone who uses this knows what it is, knows about it and I have this in NC42 which is my skin tone color and I just love this I love this thing I'm gonna use it for highlighting because my complexion has changed so I needed to update the color um, of my concealer and my foundation so I picked that up speaking of foundation I went ahead and picked up the pro long wear nourishing waterproof foundation now I read some stuff about this and um, I read that it works uh, for a lot of people it worked better without like primer without moisturizer it worked better like alone um, and I can see why because it's waterproof so I'm sure that it has you know some things in here that'll make it last you know do what a primer does um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a, like a little those that don't know how the prolong wear concealer I just try to get the tiniest pump though and sometimes it just comes out so much but let me put it over here okay okay so I tried to get a really tiny swatch and a lot came out but you can see how thick this is so in my opinion, if you're going to use this, I would suggest to you this, this this is not going to be something that you use on a light day with no makeup type of thing. This is something that you're going to use if you want some really good coverage type of thing. <laughs> so that was the Pro Long Wear Concealer. And then the Pro Long Wear Foundation, I picked up an NW35. 
Yes, NW35. And we're gonna get a little bit of this. Now this I was able to control. <laughs> but go ahead and show you guys this. You can see how good of a coverage that gives you. So I'm going to try these two out together and I'm probably going to use this more on my days where I don't feel or more on the days where I feel like wearing heavier makeup than on natural makeup so mostly when I go out maybe. Um, I guess I can do the brushes. I picked up three brushes. Um, I picked up the 137 brush and it looks like this. Now, my intention for this was to do highlight or maybe light contour, but you can also use this to kind of set your concealer under your eye um, or set areas that you don't want to set with a certain color. So if you don't want to put um, colored powder in your highlight and you want to put like a white powder or um, a HD powder, you can just use this for a certain area. But my main intention is to probably use this for under the eye. And then I also got the two, what is this one? Oh, <laughs> the 286 brush. Now I went in to get the 224 because that's my favorite brush ever. And I went in to pick that up, but this is the same price and I decided I would pick up something, you know, I would try this and give it a shot to compare the two, the 224 and this, but um, I feel like I might still like the 224 better just based off, you know, what I, I could be biased because I've used it already and I haven't used this one yet, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm judging it's, <laughs> I'm judging the brush by its bristles. <laughs> And I'm not, I haven't tried it yet on my um, lid, but it's just a little bit more, it feels just like a dual, a dual fiber brush would feel, um, rather than um, regular hair brushes. And then I picked up the 221 brush, which when I saw, I knew I had to get also because um, this was good for like getting really, really tight crease. Oh, I'm sorry, a really, really defined crease. And you can have your little smoky edge without, you know, going out of your V. Um, there's some people that struggle with just keeping that little V area. And I feel like this is a really good brush for that. This is the 221. Next thing I got is the Upward Lash Mascara. And this is water resistant, I believe. I believe it's water resistant. Mm, something like that. But <laughs> isn't this funny? Like, I feel like it looks like a giant tube of lipstick. So I loved it. I love it for the packaging in itself. Let me just show you the bristles. I really didn't want to open it just yet, but look at it. Like, do you see that? Like, look at how that looks. It's like a straight, there's really no bristle, but it's awesome. And I want to try it because I, I got it tried on me when I got my makeup done there and I loved it. Yeah, so I mean, I had this tried um, on me when I had my makeup done at MAC and I loved it. I liked how it looked. Um, also, please excuse how I look. I just got off from work. I have no makeup on. I have, my hair is not done. You know, I'm, I'm in clothes that I wore to work so and my voice is kind of raspy um, I'm kind of tired as well but I wanted to get something up um, but yes this is the upward lash mascara and then I picked up the pro Longwear waterproof brow set and oh, they were out of I forget what it was called it was another brown it was a little bit darker than this this is the red chestnut and I feel like since I'm going to have dark brows and I'm going to have red in my brows, I can use this and I'd get away with it. Like, I feel like I can get away with it because it's just, it's not too dark of a brown, but it's not like so light that 
you can tell or it looks like I bleached my brows um, because even though my hair is red it's still dark and then um, I purchased mostly lipstick so I'm doing that one last um, I picked up the blush in peaches and I've been eyeing this, bl this blush for a while and I finally picked it up so this is peaches it's like an orangey kind of color you see right here but I like it on my complexion um, and like anyone with like a tannish darkish skin tone this would look good on because it's it's like a natural f flesh of color and it's not like that bright pink that doesn't look that you can tell is makeup you know what I'm saying so I love this on, on a tannish darkish skin tone colors that um, peaches looks good like NW35 NC42 <laughs> um, yeah and I'm sorry if I'm cutting low I mean I hope it's not too I think this is better I think that's better okay so <clears throat> I also picked up sweet heat extra dimension eyeshadow and oh my god I wanted the I forget what it's called. It was something mauve. Ugh, I swatched it and I wanted to get it so bad. But they didn't have it. They were out. But this is in Sweet Heat. And God, look at this. Like, I don't even want to touch it because it's so pretty. But, you know, this is what we get it for. To, um, I don't even know what to do here. <laughs> Like, oh my god, this is so pretty. Like, you can put this all over the lid, and because it's a dimensional, extra dimensional eyeshadow, you know, you can get that dimension anywhere. Like, you can see it's kind of dark here. Like, you can see it's darker here, and it's lighter here, but it's one color. So, you can just slap this onto your lids, and you already have, like, a two-in-one eyeshadow. Okay, now on to the final things that I purchased. I picked up, oh god, I picked up Okay, so now moving on to the lipsticks. I have seven lipsticks here. Oh, you can't even see the name, but I picked up seven of these bad boys here. Now, my main intention was to go there for lipsticks and a few things and I have a list but unfortunately I didn't follow what was on the list now excuse me if I'm close in frame I'm actually breastfeeding my child right now so um, I'm filming and breastfeeding so I'm multitasking <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start I'm gonna grab them in any order and I'll do some swatches for you guys so the first one here is kind of sexy and um all of these are permanent um permanent lipsticks none of them are um limited edition or anything like that so this one is kind of sexy and i knew this haul was going to be long i kind of talk long anyways <laughs> this one's kind of sexy and it just looks like this it's a nudie color a nudie I don't want to keep saying nudie brown but a nudie pink color this is it right here okay oh yeah this is that <laughs> this is yeah this is that and like I said in the beginning I'm into the whole nude brown lip lately so I'm kind of stocking up <laughs> um, next one is in honey love I don't know why I keep showing you guys the name of it. You guys can't see it, so I should just tell you the name and then swatch it. Maybe this will go by faster. <laughs> and I keep opening it the wrong way. So yeah, this one's in Honey Love. And it's like a, it's another nude. So let me just swatch this one here. Can see it there this looks really comparable to 
So maybe like a little bit of a more muted blankety. Um, and yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry. The lipstick, um, kind of sexy, is a matte. And it's also Honey Love. They're both mattes. And then the next one is Stone. And this is oh, a beautiful color. I think this is the one. Oh my god. But, anyways, this is Stone. It's a matte color. And oh my god. Tell me that is not beautiful. Like, get out of here. Look at this. I would. Put those on. <laughs> okay, I was gonna throw it on, but then I thought about it, and I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was still another matte. Um, and then I have a freckle tone. I believe. I, I believe these are all mattes. Oh no, luster. Freckle tone is a luster. It's another nude color. And I'm just trying to find some place on my arm and hands to put it. But this is freckle tone right here. You can't really see it, but it's it's pretty, it's very, it's one of those things that you'd have to build up a little bit. And if you have darker, if you have really dark pigmented lips, or if you have pigmented lips um, and you're kind of tan, it might wash you out. So you have to use that with a liner in my opinion um and then the next one i have here is viva glam 2 which is the only um what do you call it which is the only not um regular lipstick it's a viva glam lipstick and this one is in the color oh i just thought it was viva glam 2 didn't i and i just anyways yes so this one is very close to a lot of the things I have on a matter of fact, it's actually very close to um, kind of sexy, just a little bit darker. So yeah, very close, um, but maybe I feel like being glamorous and I'll use that instead of, or maybe I feel like being sexy, I don't know, you know, maybe I'm just going to have to go and reach for it. <laughs> Anyways, the next one I have is a Saint Germain, which is an amplified lipstick. And yes, it's a pink. Now, I'm I don't often reach for my pinks, but I figured I would get a little out of my comfort zone because you know, as makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts or people that you know enjoy, you know, playing with makeup, um you know it's all about experimenting so pinkish colored lips um i have the candy yum yum and you know when i really want to be daring or i feel like being you know very colorful or bold um then i will throw that on um but saint germain it looks like i could pull that off a little bit better than the candy yum yum i just have to add a little bit of a liner to it and the last one is Whorl, and uh, this is the end of my, the last of my purchases to there. This is Whorl, and oh, this one again, it, this, it's this one, Whorl and Stone, I just can't wait to use, I'm just, I'm excited to use them. And I think that, yeah, that is it. <laughs> um, I felt like I didn't purchase that much. And it's actually like a 25 minute video so anyways I'm gonna end this here and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I tried to make it quick but I failed so I'm gonna go ahead and have another video coming up soon um, my I'll try to do an August favorites if I can squeeze that in soon because it's already the first week of September um, so hopefully I could squeeze that in. I am not editing right now anything. Um, my mother is using my laptop, my MacBook, so I don't really have anything to edit with right now. And I could find an app that I can edit on with on my phone, but 
I mean, I feel like just straightforward videos for now is good. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy those right now. So I'll see you guys in another video. Take care. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.